Hey everyone and welcome to our channel. This will be a comprehensive video walkthrough where I'll be guiding you on how you can design a completely custom brochure from scratch using Canva's intuitive free online design platform. Whether you need a brochure for your business, nonprofit, school, event, restaurant, or any other use case, I'll be breaking down the entire start to finish process for creating a beautiful branded brochure in Canva. So if you don't have one already, the first step is to go to canva.com and sign up for a free account using your email or Facebook ID, for example. Creating an account unlocks Canva's full suite of design tools for presentation, logos, documents, and graphics, all for free. You can get access to the full features that this beautiful platform offers. It's very well worth the value, but we don't really need it as the free membership already covers all of our needs. Once logged into our new account, you land on Canva's homepage interface. From here, we can quickly jump into creating designs for our specific needs. And for today's topic, we will be designing a brochure. So head over to the brochure design section, which we can find if we click on business and then in the top menu, go to marketing and then click on brochures. Or you can scroll down the homepage until you see the brochures category under design spotlight. Both will take us to the same template collection with hundreds of professionally created designs optimized for all kinds of niches and use cases. We can see brochure templates already made for industries like real estate or travel, there is fashion, photography, food and beverage, and many kinds of templates that we can use for inspiration or build on top of. So browse through the options for inspiration on layouts or color schemes. We've got fonts and creative examples that you can look through and find the ones that you prefer. And while the templates provide an excellent starting point, as we said, we'll be guiding you through the building a brochure process completely from scratch so we can demonstrate just how quick and easy Canva makes it to create our own 100% custom brochure regardless of your design experience. So click on the purple create a brochure button to start designing our own. This will open Canva's drag and drop brochure creating canvas. We're immediately presented with a professionally structured grid of boxes and columns that we can automatically flow together into the brochure trifold format. This provides spaces for our front cover, back cover, and then the inside pages where we can have the content sections. And the grid system makes it super intuitive to lay out a brochure pages properly without needing to know complex graphic design. So before adding any elements, let's customize the color scheme and fonts to match our brand style. I'll click on this one palette right here to open the selector. And from here we can choose an endless variety of color combinations or easily create our own palette by picking individual colors. So just as an example, I'll be going for this kind of combination for my own color theme. And with just a couple of clicks, Canva updates any existing template elements like background or images and text boxes. And it does it seamlessly, so much faster than changing colors manually. Next, I'll select my branded fonts that I want to use throughout the brochure by clicking on the font icon next to the palette. And then I'll choose this one for headings and this one for body text. So now we have the foundation of our brand style all set up. Let's start replacing the generic placeholder text with actual content for my own niche. I'll click directly on the text boxes to highlight them and then delete the sample ones or type my own. You can add your own company name or slogan. You can add services, information, anything that you can think of. So if you want to add your social media or contact icons, it's pretty easy as you can search for Canva's elements for the specific logo. So you can, for example, drag an Instagram icon and then resize it however we see fit and then update the color to orange or red or whatever you want it to be. And then you can add your Instagram handle in the text below so that it's clickable. And with a few simple steps, you've built in social media links. And now we can replace the generic stock photos with relevant images for the business. I will click on upload to bring the branded graphics or team photos. You can add whatever you can really see fit in your brochure here. And then by dragging and dropping your own pictures, you can place them instantly and then resize them or add, for example, different shapes and textures to the design so you can really tie it all together. And just like that, the front cover is really taking shape. Next up, we want to click on add page to start designing the inner content of the pages. And for general ideas, we can like include about us or our services, testimonials and reviews, pricing and plans. If you want to add like a page for company history and values or frequently asked questions, you can do all that and more in the inner pages. 
or essentially any other details that you want to feature so that you can tell about your brand. The options are limitless based on your own specific goals. So as an example, let me walk you through adding a custom inner page. And once you're done putting in all of your inner pages, you can wrap it up by making sure all the brand colors and fonts are looking consistent across every page so that it adds a cohesive or a professional kind of experience to your brochure. And once you're completely satisfied with your brochure, it's time to export it by clicking on the purple download button in the top right. You should select the PDF format for a high quality or high resolution printing and it's the best one for printing in general. And that's really it, you now have your own custom brochure ready to be printed and shared anywhere. Keep in mind that you can use the already designed templates to either edit or add on top of, or you can use them for inspiration and color combinations, etc. And it only took a few minutes for us to design the whole thing. So as you can see, Canva is really user friendly and it's a perfect platform to start designing in even with no prior graphic design experience. I really hope that you found this walkthrough helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions about Canva or other design videos. If you found it helpful or enjoyable to watch, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos.